Today, I got one of the strongest builds in Dauntless. This build is actually insane. It does a lot of damage and you can use it in any game mode that you want. So for all my veterans that are looking for a build, this is a must needed build. I took this build to Trials facing off Moon River Strike and Dauntless Trials and it did pretty good. This build can destroy this behemoth real, real easy. And I even got a top 100 time finish using this build. So this build can definitely get top 100 and you should have no worries. Starting off with the weapon, we have the Electric Cruelties or Malkarian Chain Blades. And for the cells, we're gonna have Catalyst on it and Berserker. We have Reaper's Dance for the special, Hurricane Blades for the mod. We have for the bond here, Seves Pincers, Seves uh, Chain Blades, and this gives us Pulse. For the Omni Cell here, we're gonna have Tempest. It gives us a little bit of attack speed and we stack it up. It deals increased part damage. So of course we want that, we break some parts easy. Don't need sharpen at all. For the Lantern, we're gonna have Strike Zeal to give us that increased movement speed and attack speed. We also gonna have Catalyst on that as well. For the Helmet, we have Time Weave Helm and it has plus three predator already on it. We're gonna give it plus three predator again. For the Body Armor, we have Time Weave Robes, has overpower on it, we're gonna give it Berserker. For the gauntlets, we have time weave gauntlets. We want to give it pulse. It already has overpower on it. And for the boots, we have Thrax Gill with cunning already on it. We're going to give it cunning as well. Going over to the cells, we have Berserker. We lose 300 health, but we gain 3.5% damage and it stacks 10 times. You get Berserker by just hitting the behemoth and you get those stacks. So deal damage, you get the stacks and you deal even more damage. Next, we have Catalyst. It gives us 60% tonic effectiveness and duration. So we can use our tonics and we can you know, deal more attack speed and damage or whichever tonic you're using. Um, stamina, you wanna use stamina so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, use Catalyst, it's definitely meta and it's definitely, definitely um, advised to use. So you wanna slay faster, especially if you're you know doing heroic escalation or any of that. Um, or you can just use conduit to get that attack speed. We have cunning, we get 10% increased critical strike chance, 30% critical strike damage. So we want those crits, crits, uh, faster slays. So you want to slay a behemoth way faster, you want those crits. Overpower, we're going to be staggering behemoths. It gives us 40% damage versus those staggered behemoths. So we want to make sure we get overpower. Always want to get overpower because interrupts or just any stagger. You're just going to get that extra damage and you want that. It happens often. Next, we have Predator. After 15 seconds of not getting hit, we deal 35% extra damage. So do not get hit. You will lose the bonus as soon as you get hit. It will reset the timer for another 15 seconds. So make sure you keep that 35% buff up and uh, get that Predator. Next, we have Pulse. Every fifth hit is a guaranteed critical strike. And we get 15% critical strike damage. Chain blades, you definitely want this because you get pulse very fast. Chain blades is a fast weapon, so you want to make sure you have pulse, get those crits, and it definitely pairs well with uh, cunning, extra critical strike damage. And that is the build, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm trying out a new format and having the gameplay under the build where I'm going over the build and I definitely hope y'all enjoyed the video like and subscribe and we're gonna have another video out soon and yeah man more builds on the way um and yeah peace out y'all